What's up, my friends? It's Camille Damen, your online able to certified trainer. And today I'm going to show you how I made this free template for you guys. You can download it from my website. It's going to be free. You find the link below the video or somewhere here. I'm going to put it so you can click it immediately and download it. Uh, maybe you first want to watch the video, how I made it, because there's some ideas that you might find interesting. I've used only Ableton stuff and stuff from the Nordlead sample pack that I have. Here it's how it sounds. So that's the loop, and it's nice. It's like moody chords, deep housey, and um, all the, the 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 template with all the samples will be available on my website. You can download it for free because you know you guys been following me for a long time and watching my videos. You know it's nice if I can do something back and give you something nice. Uh, so yeah, the the first thing obviously is the kick. Nice 909 kick, you know, if you want to make I like house or deep house, never, it never beats a classic. If you want to get that, that like classic sound, uh, from the nineties sort of like 909 ish, you always get, you're always ready to get that sound. This sound is a sample from my, uh, Nordlead sample pack, uh, which is making this bass. And to get it with the kick, that's... Sounds good. There's no processing on a little low cut and I made a little bit mono because it was very stereo. So I made everything under 120 mono. So it sets itself more in like the middle of your uh, your sound. Very important. If you have a stereo bass with like some, some chorus on it or whatnot, always make sure to make the, the low end mono so you don't get any weird uh, phasing issues. And usually I like it to put a little drum bass on it, you know? If you listen to it, adds a little bit more. And always make sure that you check the volume. So before, it's 358, and when it's on, it's even getting softer. So, you know, if I turn it off, it gets, it gets a little bit more power, a little bit more full. I really love drum bus for it, uh, but just make sure it doesn't get any louder. You know, if it gets better sound wise, it's nice, but if it gets louder, it always sounds better, right? So don't trick yourself. Um, then the drums also, there's the drum bus. Uh, I like to set it very minimal. I always have to dry wet a little bit and take the main volume down about four or five dB. So it's not getting louder. It just adds a little bit of crunch to everything. So there's this hi-hat. Very nice, just like a 909. Again, the same story as the kick. Just make sure you go 909 if you want to go make house, you know. A uh, little short hat. Together they make this like nice little swing. I also have the swing 1666, 100%. It make, gives a nice little swing vibe to the whole thing. You know, also the shakers. Are doing this, so when you, let's say we add the kick in. You get this and, and make sure you use the velocity make to make like the sort of like the humanizing and you can make really nice grooves if you spend a little bit of time like you know make it like a nice little exciting then i've got two claps this one also very 909 ish and this one a little bit lower so they together they are I love to layer claps, just to have two going. I don't really pan them left and right. I keep a lot of stuff mono mostly. Like, you know, uh, it, it, it sounds a little bit strange to me when, when the house is very wide. You can, you know, of course, it's also like a choice. You can, you can play around with this, pan one left, pan one right. Sometimes it, it works really nice. But uh, I love to keep it mono to, to honor sort of like that old school sound. Uh, I got a little percussion going on here. It's basically like an extra shaker, you know. nice you know again with the swing 
Again, with a little bit of velocity, I didn't, oh, I didn't really do any velocity, I believe, but you know, I could add some velocity. You can also randomize it if you want, but it, I, I would prefer to do it myself to create some sort of like uh, pattern with the velocity that's also enhancing or fitting the musical thing. If you do random, sometimes it gets a little bit too random. Depends on what sound you're making. Then I got the weep. That's cool, gives a little. Nice, gives a little like really, uh, it gives like this really like this jacking kind of housey kind of vibe, but it's still deep house. Why? Because we're using some longer chords like this one. Let me mute the rest. So. This one also comes from the is from the the synths in the of actually from the chords in the Lessons Live Nord lead pack. Really nice. It's like uh, yeah, it's this my synth up here. It's, I really love that that sound of the of the Nord lead. It's very characteristic kind of sound and has amazing sounds. And you know I can play around with the. You, know, you can play around a little bit with the with the filter to keep it to keep it moving, especially when you start arranging a loop, the f keeping the filters closed in the beginning, and later opening them up gives gives that swell and that build towards breaks or towards build ups. You know, anything that you use with filters is really really important. If you're interested in how to learn these things with arranging, I have this intermediate course that I do every two months or so. It's a five week course with a maximum of five people also inside of the course. And what we focus on is these type of things. You have a loop and how are you gonna make it like to a full track? That's the intermediate. And we'll talk a lot about these techniques to keep your music interesting. Then the next one is the stabs, uh, also coming from the Nord Lead Pack. And that goes really well together there. Right, it's a nice sound. Wop wop. I like it. <laughs> and same thing, I could I could say, okay, let's let's keep that a little bit interesting to make every hit slightly different. Right, you can you can play around with the filter, and that that's uh, again that's something for the for the, for the intermediate. Uh, here's a um, a pad. Also, this is co this is coming from the pad section in the um, Nord lead pack, and you can also again same thing. You'll play around with it to, to make it to make it move over time. That's gonna keep your loop a lot in, more interesting and also your whole track if you decide to arrange this into like a full track. Then we got the chords here. Uh, these coming these are coming from drift. Uh, I just used the basic setting like some saw wave and a sine wave, uh, which is an octave lower, which makes it uh, really interesting. You get like this if we mute for if we play a note. If I would mute oscillator two. Oscillator two, oscillator one together. You get this low end from this one and the ow from this high end. And, and then um, there's this filter that's going wow. We got the filter envelope here going down, down. So basically it's closing the filter from up, back down, like this. But then, so you can play around with this. Right, and this is this is just playing along, and and you know the thing is also in this in this template is there's a lot of call and response. So it's like, so it's a pow, ding pong, do do do, wow, ding pong. So that's a little sort of like the yeah the hypnotizing kind of. And again, with this, you can play with the filter the same to make every hit slightly different. You know, every hit can be different. And, and you know, if you have this, you can just play your track. I usually like it. Uh, you make sure nothing is armed for MIDI. You make sure your automation record is on. You press record. You go one, two, three, four. Uh, 
right? And then if you like that, you can say, all right, uh, duplicate, whoop. And now you've got your automation and this sound is always moving. And you know, the same you can do here. You say, okay, let's do this again. Press record, boom. Right, and this this is so important because if this if your sounds are static and not moving, you're not gonna get any any vibe, you know. There's it's it's like it's just going, you know. But now the stuff's going up, going down. I always say in my classes is like you're watching the Matrix, you know. In the beginning, you see Neo, you working in some sort of call center and cubicle, and you don't know he's gonna get the hottest chick of the of the movie. He's gonna save the world. He's gonna dodge bullets. Gonna learn like five martial arts in like the in one hour. So you know, in the beginning, all the filters are closed. You just see this dude working, and later the story unfolds. And this is basically how you can interpret it. The interpret it, interpret interpretate whatever yeah how you can receive these this idea about the filters that you can open them up to to show the story right this is really really important in music production or any storytelling basically then the last one is the shorty i wanted to make a little short sound with wavetable it sounds like this and again it's moving and what it's what it's doing is basically I, I control that the it's mostly the decay that I move to the right to the left to make the sound longer and shorter. But also you could like say hey, you can play around with the filter as well. These things making things longer and shorter, brighter and duller, louder and softer. These things are really really important. The more you can modulate things over time, the more interesting your music will be. Right? I've added a little vocal uh, channel. If you ever want to add a vocal, I didn't want to sing for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not a good singer. Um, but yeah, I also added some crashes. You know, crash and a reverse, which are nice. 909 kind of crash. And it's this is like a basic template that you can use. You know, you got the sounds will be coming with it. You can obviously add your own sounds as well in the drum racks. This is a little bit how I work. I have my kick and bass uh, in a group, my drums all in a group, my music all in a group, then my vocals and effects. So in the end, when I would close everything, I've got like five channels that I can, you know, if I want to put all my drums up a little bit, I can see kick and bass, drums relationship. Oh, maybe the music is too loud. Maybe put all the music at the same time a little bit softer. That's really nice in the end when you want to mix your music. And, you know, in the beginning, I don't like to do too much. Usually EQ wise, this is all I do just to create a little bit of space. If I need some, you know, some, um, some compressed, some side chain, for instance, for this, uh, this pad, you know, I can also copy it to the chord. The chord also goes a little bit like to give that pump in effect, but that's all I do during the music making process. So usually from here, it's like arranging it for five minutes and start laying out a skeleton of the arrangement with a little intro a little break a little um, little build to the big break and then after the big break a little peak and then an outro and that's that's usually done in a little bit just by copying the loop over like six minutes and start hacking out the the stuff you know um as I said, this thing will be available online, this whole template, uh, including the master filter. I always have the letter Q via my mapping here. If you do like key mapping, I've mapped with the letter Q, I've mapped this on off button on this auto filter, which means that if I turn it on, I can play around already a little bit. Uh, you'll have my small verb, which I use for my drums, medium verbs for my chords, big verbs for my uh, for my effects usually. Delay one, delay two, I like to have two delays in there, uh, the echo and the normal delay, all Ableton stuff. So you can download it if you're in Ableton 12, you can download this and uh, I hope you're gonna have fun with the template. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you have any suggestions for any videos or templates that you want me to make for you, then let me know. And if you'd like to support what I do, find all the links below you can join my patreon community where i have the lessons of life dojo we do feedback sessions master classes uh remix challenges all that stuff you can buy shirts uh cups for in the studio on the merchandise link you can go to the website and besides the free tip template uh, pack that you'll find there are sample packs you can buy just to support me doing this thing and to create more content for you so hope you enjoyed and i'll see you at the next one Thank <laughs> you.